This is Jayan Joshi, your biology teacher. Today we will start with ninth class biology. The topic is the fundamental unit of life. Students, as this building is made up of small repeating units called as brick, similarly our body is made up of extremely small structures called as cells so cell is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms i repeat the definition of cell is cell is the structural and functional unit of all living organism now first let me explain what is the meaning of structural here means all living organism are made up of cell and cell structures outside the cell life does not exist and hence all living organisms their structures their body parts their organs are made up of cells that's why cell is called as structural unit of all living organisms the next term is functional unit every cell is capable of performing certain vital functions of life no function related to life is performed outside the cell that's why cell is also called as functional unit in other words all those vital life processes which are necessary for life are also performed by cell and hence cell is called as structural and functional unit of life or all living organisms now we come to discovery who discovered cell it is robert hook the scientist named as robert hook who in the year 16 65 by his own made microscope observed honeycomb like structures in a wood cork and gave them name as cell so robert hook is the first person to discover the cell in the year 1665 later on antony von leuwen hock i repeat later on <laughs> Antony von Leeuwen Hock discovered living cell living cells he discovered living cells in RBCs or certain bacteria in tooth scrap or in human sperm he observed the living cells before Antony von Leeuwen Hock Robert Hook observed dead cells in a wood cork he observed dead cells but Antony von Leeuwen Hock first of all observe the living cells so this is about discovery of the cell now we come to shape of the cell cells are having different different shapes some cells are cuboidal some are columnar some are some branch of tree like some are irregular some are amoeba shaped and some are columnar cuboidal etc shape of hmm. these are the different shapes of cell you can see here is the muscle cell which is spindle shaped these are oval cells which are rbc or blood cells some irregular cells of our bones are there even our wbc are also irregular in shape this is a nerve cell which is a tree branch like then human sperm is tailed structure that is tadpole like and fat cells are ovum cells are of different different shapes now we come to size what is the size of cell generally the size of cell is measured in micrometer you must be knowing that 1 micrometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 6 meter means it is extremely small so cells are generally measured in micrometer sometimes they are measured in their size is measured in picometer to or nanometer to but generally they are measured in micrometer then we come to the largest longest and the smallest cell the largest cell that we know so far is ostrich egg ostrich egg is the 
largest cell of the world then we come to smallest cell smallest cell is pplo we stand for pleuro pneumonia like organisms that's why they are called as pplo also called as mycoplasma they are smallest cell of the world and then the longest cell is nerve cell or the neuron is the longest cell thus we can say longest cell largest cell is ostrich egg smallest cell is pplo that is pleuro pneumonia like organisms and then finally longest cell is nerve cell now we come to next topic that is how many type of cells are there on the basis of presence or absence of well defined nucleus we divide cell into two types number 1 is prokaryotic cell and number 2 is eukaryotic cell first one is prokaryotic cell if i draw the diagram of prokaryotic cell this cell is a cell whose genetic material lies freely in the cytoplasm i repeat a cell whose dna that is genetic material it may be dna or generally dna is a genetic material of bacterial cell or prokaryotic cell which lies freely in the cytoplasm and is not bounded by nuclear envelope in other words a prokaryotic cell do not have a well defined nucleus as well as it does not contain double membrane bound cell organelles like mitochondria golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum that's why it is called as prokaryotic cell example is all bacterial cells are prokaryotic cells a kingdom named as monera or blue green algae are counted among prokaryotic cells the second type of cell is a eukaryotic cell the eukaryotic cell is that cell in which the dna the genetic material is bounded by a well defined nucleus here you can see nuclear envelope is present and a well defined nucleus is present in eukaryotic cell moreover a eukaryotic cell may contain double membrane bound cell organelles like mitochondria like golgi body like endoplasmic reticulum and all other double membrane bound structures are present in eukaryotic cell nuclear envelope is the major identifying feature of eukaryotic cell means a well defined nucleus is present in eukaryotic cell while in case of prokaryotic cell you can see no boundary of the nuclear envelope is present and genetic material is lying freely in the cytoplasm well defined nucleus is absent in prokaryotic cell it is present in eukaryotic cell moreover we can take the example of eukaryotic cell as human cell is a eukaryotic cell every plant is a eukaryotic cell and all other higher organisms are counted among eukaryotic cells so these are about types of cells now on the basis of on the basis of number of cells organism can be divided into two categories one of them are called as unicellular another are called as multicellular those organisms whose body contain only one cell are called as unicellular organisms i repeat if the body of an organism contain only one cell it is called unicellular organism you must be familiar with this organism which is called as amoeba or paramecium or euglena or some bacteria are counted among unicellular organism as their body contain only one cell on the other hand those organism whose body is made up of large number of cells many cells even billion trillion cells are present in human being or in elephant in a people tree or in a body of blue whale which is the largest animal on the planet their body is multi cellular so on the basis of number of cells in the body we divide organism into two categories unicellular and 
मल्टी सेलुलर